Hey everybody, I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Safety Harbor today. 737 Main Street, you will find Giggle Waters, which is a great name for a restaurant. Giggle Waters, a throwback prohibition term, kind of a secret code for alcohol back in the day. And they do have a great bar. They're known for their handcrafted cocktails. They're known for their deliciously decadent menu items. Uh, and uh, actually a, a movie theater where they would play all kinds of wonderful old classic 80s, 70s movies. Okay, that part is not open. The bar isn't open. Even the dining room isn't open yet, but they have been able to open their newly expanded patio. And Rachel Fine, who owns this fine establishment with her husband, Richie, I, I know you're glad to be back open even though it's limited now. We'll take whatever we can get. I'm so happy to see people sitting outside eating and drinking again. It's been wonderful. Uh, what do you tell me some of your new rules that you're following or, or new things you've implemented to your own staff to make sure people are safe? Well, sure. For starters, the patio is spaced 10 feet apart. So we went a little further than the recommendations to make sure everyone really feels safe. Uh, we're not having groups of more than 10 congregate as per the CDC. Um, we have all of our staff in masks and gloves. A lot of times people see gloves and they think, how long have those been on, somebody? We change ours every 20 minutes to a different color glove. So you'll see everyone in black gloves and you'll see everyone in blue gloves. Um, and that just lets people know that we really take it seriously. We're also having different people handle the money than handle your food. Um, we have people order up at the counter right now so you can look on a big menu that's laid out as opposed to us giving you a menu someone else may have touched. So we're really looking at every point of contact. On our Giggle Waters to go, uh, you can order completely touch free to go menu items. So you go on gigglewaters.com, there's a little online ordering tab. You can place your order, you can pay for your order right there. Then you text us when you pull up, you pull right in front of our little car line out front. We are gloved and masked, we hand you a bag through the window. We have single use pencils, you can, you can sign your card and you can take off on your way very safely. And you're waiting to open the dining room when you have when you're prepared to do so. Yeah, I think the biggest thing we're waiting for is a way to sanitize menus more appropriately. We have a pretty big menu and I don't want to just throw away a, a menu every time someone uses it. So we ordered some specific UV lights that can kill viruses. Um, and as soon as those come in and we can sanitize menus between each use and we'll reopen the dining room. Let's talk about what you have been doing during the Safer at Home when you could not be open to the public to actually dine here. You were taking meals to hospitals. You were giving away free meals right here to people who are unemployed. What sparked that and, and how good did it feel to be part of the good deeds happening in the community? Yeah, I'll tell you what sparked it. I got a phone call from Kraft Legal. It's a, it's a family here in Safety Harbor and they said, we'd like to send food to the emergency room in Meese Countryside. And I said, all right, we'll do it. And it was my first time kind of setting foot in a hospital environment, which kind of felt scary. I had masks and face shields and gloves. But seeing the look of relief on the doctors and nurses when I pulled up and they were so excited that someone cared about them and wanted to send this meal, sparked a mission in us. And from that day forward, we set up a really specific focus on feeding the front lines. And, and that didn't just include hospital workers. It was also the essential workers at Publix or at Lowe's. It was the janitorial staff at hospitals who take the same risks but maybe don't make the same paycheck. And while we were doing that all the time, someone said to me in one of my Facebook comments, well, that's great, but those guys are all employed. What about all of us who are laid off? And the comment stung for a second. And then I sat with what she thought and thought, yeah, we should take care of people who are unemployed. So we set up a car line and did free lunch for everyone. Uh, we did a whole weekend of just handing out bag lunch to anyone unemployed, any sector. If you're not working, here's one less meal to think about and it was a really emotional meaningful day and and so I think that's really kept us going through all that we take these you can you can add on feed the front line on our online menu on gigawaters.com you can select feed the front line from the drop down menu and, and donate in increments of $10. You can Venmo us at, at GiggleWaters. You can email events at GiggleWaters.com if you want to sponsor a bigger meal. And we will take those dollars and we will stretch those dollars and we will feed people who could really use it. Good for you. Thinking about others while also thinking about your own business interests as you reopen the patio here. Rachel Fine, thank you very much. Good luck to you moving forward. Again, Giggle Waters, Safety Harbor, 737 Main Street. Uh, open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. They even have DIY cocktail kits where you can take home the makings and make your own handcrafted cocktails at home. Probably not quite as good as you can get here at Giggle Waters, but doggone close. Charlie Belcher, Fox 13 News.